Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was expected. Well, you know what they say, guys. If the Millennium Falcon is a rockin', don't come a-knockin'. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Kerbal Space Program. I'm, uh... A little late to this game, and by a little late, I mean five years, but um, a lot of you guys over the years have asked me to play it, and honestly, it scares me. It's very complex, very confusing, and if you guys know, my track record for flight-based vehicles is not so good. So why not start off with a Millennium Falcon? But yeah, I did want to come here to kind of learn how to play, because if you don't know, Kerbal Space Program 2 is going to be coming out, I think, in 2022, so I have a little bit of a time to learn. But yes, I'd like to actually play this game and see what it's it's all about. Obviously, um, it's all about space flight, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do that today. And oh god, see how we can do. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the Millennium. Oh god. Okay, you know what? This is this is how it should start. This feels right. At least I haven't crashed yet, and we have taken off with the Millennium Falcon. Are you not impressed? Probably not. That was actually very easy. Now this thing's actually got bullets on it. Or should I say missiles? So, oh my god, does that actually shoot where I want it to? All right, incoming. Oh, it's going in! I think it hit it, I think it, oh, it's actually still flying. Okay, it was a little bit over, that's okay. Jesus, going in for another shot, and another shot just in case that one's misses. Oh god, pull up! There we go, direct hit! All right, we still have, uh, I think, two more shots. I just shot myself, sweet. Um, and they can also get rid of the nose cone. I don't know why, but we may as well. Now, I'm actually gonna try and land the Millennium Falcon. Let's start off with an actual successful run, because there's probably not gonna be too many of those. So let's drop the gears again, and get ready for a landing before my fuel runs out. The hell's that? Oh, that's that's my cone. Oh god, it just, it just, it just blew up. <laughs> okay, well, at least the Kerbals are not in that. Okay, let's put on the engines a little bit. I might actually, I mean, I'm coming in right sideways right now, but you know what? This might go well, you never know. Holy crap, guys, this is actually going okay. All right, so we're gonna boost it a little bit so we go directly forward, throw those engines off. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh, don't hurt yourself. Dude, I did it. Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go, oh God, don't run me over. Please don't run over the Kerbal. We did it. We did it. I am a professional. All right, next up we got a Beyblade Arena. I love this game, man. Um, so yeah, I bet you expected for me to go to space and whatnot. I don't know if we'll get there or not, but we will definitely play with some Beyblades. So, um, didn't really explain how to use this. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we actually have a Beyblade Arena that actually somewhat works. I wish these things... I was just gonna say, I wish these things were weaponized. Clearly they are a little bit. Which one's gonna win? I guess it doesn't matter because they're both me, so I'm clearly the winner here. Um, wow, these things, this is a close match here. It looks like this one's victorious. Actually, that was like almost a tie. Ah! What the hell did I just do? I feel like this is a good start for me. We have a lawnmower now, so I, there's, there's no explanation of controls on any of these creations, so this is gonna go well. I'm just gonna max throttle and, oh my god, I, okay, I'm flying. <laughs> I thought we'd have to go forward. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Damn it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. I don't think this is... I'm not going to be able to... How can I... How am I going to get to space if I can't control a lawnmower? Oh, Jebediah. I, I feel bad for you, buddy. I am in controls of this thing. And you have no safety net at all. Anyways, this is Surfer. From what I understand, it's basically just a giant surfboard plane. So, this should go well. You're totally gonna be fine, buddy. All right, here we go. Oh my god, pick it up. Pick, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might actually have it. I don't know what's going on with it. He's okay. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Clearly he's seen some stuff, but you know what? Just be happy you're alive, little guy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, we did it. We did it, little guy. Hold, okay, maybe we didn't do it. Hold on. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, this is hard. This is this. <laughs> God damn it. All right, what happens if we put the stability system on? That might be what we need. Sweet. Yes! 
Yes, stability has worked! That's all I needed was some computer support. I don't know what is going on with the graphics, by the way, guys. But I don't care. We're going to space with... We're not going to space with this thing. The fuel is going way too quickly. But I'm going to go as high as we can. He's so excited. Oh, my God. I love the Kerbals, man. All right, buddy. Her flight's going to end abruptly here. We're only 1,600 meters up. But it's my furthest flight yet. God damn. Oh, God. We're going down. Okay. You know what? Let's try and pull it back around and see if we can somehow safely land this without any sort of power at all. There's no landing gear on this. We did. We just have to surf the ground. Lift up a little bit. I'm sorry. And he's okay! All right, that's all that matters. Hell yeah, dude. Well, Jebediah, you're gonna get hurt, buddy, but this is going to be a beautiful flight. Look at this thing. This is insane. I love that Jeb's just sitting out at the front, ready to go. And, um, let's try this without any stability, because that seems safe. Alright, oh god, Jeb, Jeb! He's gone, he's dead. Hold on, Jeb. It's okay, buddy, I gotcha. There we go! Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> oh man, I love their facial expressions, it's the most fantastic of things. Oh god, Jeb, 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 I'm sorry! Okay, just, just did a little flip, it's all good. Jeb, I'm sorry, come on! Hold on to it! Just go upwards, Jesus Christ, this thing is brutal. Jeb, stop, stop! Well, he's okay once again. These Kerbals are some very strong little creatures. Well, did you expect me to choose an ordinary rocket? Welcome to the untitled spacecraft. This might be the first time we actually get to space. This is insane. We got our crew hatch in here. It's actually kind of safe because it's in the middle of this. That being said, these are fuel tanks, so they're just going to explode. Um, and they're kind of in the middle of it. So maybe they're not safe. They're definitely not safe with me at the helm here. But we'll see how we can do with this thing. Um, I've never flown this, so... Oh, God. We'll see what happens here. Oh, that is so cool, though. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to angle this one. I don't think we're going to get into orbit or anything like that. I, I'll be surprised if we don't blow up here. This is insane, though. Look at how happy they are. They're not hor horrified at all. Let's see what it looks like in here. Okay, yeah, just a lot of spinning. Well, I think this is the highest we've gotten. We're now almost at 10,000 meters. There we go, passing the big 10,000. As the atmosphere goes away, we are spinning faster and faster. I don't know what this bar is. I'm a little worried about it. I'm clearly a KSP noob, but you know what? If we can get the space with this thing, that'd be fantastic. Oh, God. Should I be worried? Okay, I should definitely be worried. You know what? Throw them off. Throw them off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, things are flying off. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Let's just get rid of those. Oh, God. Are you okay? Stop going downwards. Okay, I just wasted all my fuel. So I used to have two Kerbals. I think I only have one now. Okay, so I didn't even know there was two pods. Um, so yeah, I have one going much further than the other one. I unfortunately can't switch to it because we're still in the atmosphere. Um, technically isn't 70,000 space? Yes, there's the music, so I should be able to switch now. Aha! There's the other fella. All right, we're coming back in. Can we actually uh, make this guy survive? We actually should be okay. The parachute should deploy automatically. There it goes. Perfect timing. <laughs> Look at all the debris in space now. God, I've only done one flight, and it clearly didn't go well. I'm just amazed they didn't actually blow up. So this guy should be fine. All right, and look at that. A safe landing and everything. Ah, oh, that actually... I did not expect that to go well. Okay, no more funny business. It's time to actually get to space and hopefully stay there for a little bit. Now, I am no rocket scientist. You could say I'm a rocket destructionist. So I have no idea how to do it. I'll be honest, I'll be happy if we can get an orbit, but I would love to go to the moon. So the goal's the moon, but uh, the sub goal is to actually get this beast into orbit. I don't even know if this is really made to go to the moon. Only one way to find out, though, and that's actually to get to space. So here we go, our first actual mission. We got three crew members here, and they're all going to probably die. So I haven't even looked at the tutorials of this. I have watched a few videos of Kerbal Space Program, so I got that going for me. I know we got to get this going on an angle so we can get into orbit. I don't know how fast I should do this. I'm just going to go nice and slow 
and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're 5,000 meters up. Liquid fuel is rapidly going away, so it's a good thing we have multiple stages on this. We are flying, as you can see. Um, so yeah, we'll use this first stage to at least hopefully leave this atmosphere, and then we'll worry about what to do from there, because that's how a good rocket scientist works. Overall, you know, it's not flipping in the air yet. Nothing too chaotic is going on, so that's great. We are 20,000 meters up. We got to get to at least 70,000. But as this atmosphere goes away, we're going to be going faster and faster. And there goes our liquid fuel right there. So drop that off. You know what? I'll, I'll use this one. I think we'll use a little bit of this one. Actually, you know what? Let's actually cut this. Let's not go too crazy yet. We need to get to the um, aposis. Ap apopsis. <laughs> You guys are gonna make so much fun of me. Let's just call it the AP. How about that? I'm 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 gonna do a stage burn there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna add a maneuver here and see what happens. So I don't know. You know what? Let's do it this way. So my scientific way of doing things is to move these until things work or at least seem to work. So we'll do that. You know what? Screw the maneuver. Let's just try and go for this here. I'm just gonna basically do this manually for the time. Oh, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I, 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 I meant to hit the throttle there. My bad. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> oh god. We've made it to space, guys, so at least we got that going for us. Now I'm just going to try and speed up a little bit and do this without the maneuvers, because honestly, I had like a two minute burn time. I don't think we have the fuel for that. Okay, we are almost directly sideways. This is fantastic. This, I feel like, is a good way to do this. It, it's working. I mean, if we keep burning here, we're running out of fuel pretty quickly. We are going to go into an orbit, though. Ah, come on. Just got to get all the way around the Earth. Almost out of fuel with this stage. And I think we are pretty much good. We are now, I think, in orbit. I don't know if the orbit's in the atmosphere, though. We'll worry about that in a second. We'll just waste the rest of this fuel to get a little bit higher. And there it goes. Okay, turn that off. We, we, we actually need that fuel if we want to try and get to the moon. Okay. I think we're good. It's not a perfect orbit, but if we speed up, that's an orbit, ladies and gentlemen. Hell freaking yes. Now, now the hard part. All right, now we just play with these until we kind of get into moon orbit. Okay, so... That's good, there's new lines. All right, screw it, let's just try this. I believe this means I'm going on a Mun encounter line here. The Mun should be over there. I don't know if that's real or not. So what we're gonna do now is prepare for this. So I'm going to set my um, autopilot essentially to maneuver. I don't know if it's called an autopilot, but let's be honest here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So now I gotta go all the way around to the next warp stage and we are T-minus two minutes until burn time. Now, because we have such a long burn of two and a half minutes, which I don't think we'll have enough fuel for, this is going to go well. This is going to go so well. But yeah, I want to burn before we actually get to the maneuver point. I believe I have to do it half of the burn. So being that we have a two and a half minute burn, we want to start one minute and 15 seconds before we are on node, so basically a minute away from now. I don't think this is gonna go well. I don't think I have the feel, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I will not deny that this is fun, and if you guys enjoy this, I'd actually like to learn how to play, because, uh, yeah, this game is insane. Okay, it's time for our two and a half minute burn, which we don't have enough feel for, so let's, um... I guess we'll just slowly throttle up because I forget the button to go full throttle right away. All right, as you can probably tell, liquid fuel is almost gone and we still have a burn time of 44 seconds left. So that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. Um, oh yeah, this thing has a rover on it. I believe that's the rover there. Maybe? Is that, is that a rover? I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just, let's just keep going. And... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was expected. All right. Next stop, the mine. Oh, I figured out the, uh, the auto throttle button. So that's exciting, right? So now we should hopefully, yes, we're changing our trajectory. We just got to burn for 40 more seconds and then we're good. And maybe we should stop. I'm a little nervous. I I'm just going to go all the way down. Holy crap. 
Okay, this is as far as I've gotten in this game, so this is exciting. I, I ended it a bit early up, but I have the most smallest amount of fuel left. I literally have to get to the mun if we want to with that fuel. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but hey, we'll just find out when we get there like every good astronaut. All right, here we go. Okay, I got one going to a mun encounter. Let's just try it. Screw it. At this point, I don't think this is going to well go go well, but I have a burn time of three seconds here once we get near here. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, we are a minute away. Okay, here we go. An eight second burn. Oh, it's... <laughs> I feel scared. I thought there was supposed to be a three second. I guess I moved it more. Well, I don't think I have any more feel, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, I am... I am I'm now supposed to be on the moon. Well, it looks like I'm still at the gravitational pull of Earth. All right, let's keep that straight. There we go. Get our heat shield in the front. I know I need to pop the parachute when it's green, preferably. So yeah, we'll do that in a second here. Actually, it's gray. I think we're okay. Let's pop it now. I'm a little scared. Yeah! I'm just so excited I didn't kill anybody. And here we go. A beautiful touchdown. Unfortunately, not on the uh, planet I hoped to land on, or should I say moon, but um, the important part is we're fine and we survived our first flight. Now I know, I'm not the best at this game, guys. I am definitely not the best, but I had a fun time just playing with it, and yeah, if you guys like this, I would love to actually learn how to play because obviously it's a very amazing game you know there's a reason why Kerbal Space Program is still popular five years later and I never really sat down and learned it so yeah if you guys would like to see some more me playing with weird creations and actually trying to get to planets and moons let me know in the comments below but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this one guys I'm sorry we didn't land on the moon I tried my best I really did I'm, I'm just not a rocket scientist damn it so yeah if you guys have any tips as well feel free to post them in the comments below and yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.